What's new from Let Us Eat? Menu planning. Stay tuned. I am going to do some menu planning today, and I'm going to show you what we do to plan for our meals for the week. I'm going to do three whole weeks, so hopefully you'll take some of these tips and apply them to your household so you can get your meal planning done and planned ahead. Then we're going to also do a shopping list to see if there's anything that we need on top of what I already have in my freezer on my pantry shelves. And I'm pretty stocked, so I don't think there's going to be a lot of groceries for any kind of a grocery haul. But we'll see once we're done with the meal ideas and the menu planning. Now, for my dinners, I use a lot of different resources. I use Google, I use Pinterest, I use Facebook, friends, family recipes, recipes my mother had. And we use all these to bring dinners to my table. And we use a lot of the same things a lot of the month. Like, we'll have spaghetti three times a month. We'll do steaks three or four times a month. We'll have pizza a few times a month just because it makes things easier with repetitiveness in my household, especially with my picky eater. We do a lot of pork, but we do different varieties of pork. Like we'll do pork ribs and pork chops. And we'll do themed nights. Like we'll do a shake and bake night for the pork. We'll do fried chicken or I'll do a pot pie with, for our chicken. There's all kinds of different styles. So you can have different varieties and not be in a dinner rut. I recently did a freezer clean out video and then a what's for supper video of the four things that we took out for dinner that particular week. And I'll include both those videos in my link below. So let's turn this camera around and get started on the menu planning. I'm gonna first give you a quick tour of my freezer. On the top shelf is mostly chicken and some pork items. And we're gonna be looking for what I can take out for the next few days for dinners. Tomorrow we are having steaks, so I'm going to be thawing stuff for Monday and Tuesday. And in the middle shelf is a lot of ground beef and some boxed items. And then our quick heat and eats and then other items because I was running out of room. I tried to stay as organized as I possibly can. And I have a bag of ham here that I'm going to be taking out because I'm going to do a ham and tater tot casserole on Monday to use my leftover ham from Easter. Then we just had Italian sausage meatballs and our sauce on Wednesday. So I'll be taking out some ground beef on Monday so it's thawed by Wednesday for the Italian spaghetti sauce. Then Tuesday we like to do some kind of pork for our dinner. And we did pork chops last week. We're either going to be doing a pork loin or the loids that we have in our refrigerator that doesn't need to be frozen for a while because it has a long shelf life. This is my menu board. I had picked it up at five below. And I'm going to be erasing all of this. But this is just a quick example of what our dinners look like. But when I write them out, I'm going to try to write them as neatly as I can. My handwriting is... Okay, I'm more of a typist than a handwriter, but you get the point. And you can see that mostly Wednesdays is our Italian night. And we'd like to do like whole chickens and ha whole hams and roasts on Sunday. And then we do a lot of beef and steaks on Saturday. Then miscellaneous is throughout the week, like meatloaf on Thursday. Pizza is usually on Friday or takeout. And then on Tuesdays is usually our pork night. Sometimes chicken or we switch to pork to Tuesday. It just all depends on how we feel. I'm going to go ahead and take everything off my menu board. I love the dry erase. You can buy extra dry erase markers at Dollar Tree. You get a clean slate. get it all erased. I 
I hope my menu planning helps people by using themed nights and a rotation menu. My family likes to have repetitive meals weekly, especially my youngest who's extremely picky. I don't know if you guys can hear the cardinal, but he has been in my shrubs for over two hours now, and he's beautiful. Nice male cardinal singing his little heart out. Today is Saturday the 17th. So over here, I'm going to write the 17. And we're having pizza tonight because Friday was a heat and eat night. Sometimes we go off kilter with our menu and I'll just put takeout tomorrow because it's not going to be raining we're going to be grilling our steaks and then Monday would have been leftovers with chicken we're going to do our ham casserole Tuesday I'll leave blank for the moment. I'm not going to do double pork. Wednesday is going to be spaghetti. And Friday is going to be our pizza. Saturday, I'll put beef night. Because it's going to be either steaks, beef stew, or a pot roast, or something along those lines. Now Tuesday, I can take ground beef out Monday for Tuesday. And I'll reserve half for meatballs and we can do a meatloaf on Tuesday. I'll do a crock pot meatloaf. And I do have a video of crock pot meatloaf somewhere on YouTube that I can put in my description box below if I can locate it. And Thursday, I'm still a blank. I'm thinking about putting tacos for now. Sunday will be our whole chicken. Monday, we like to do chicken soup with the leftover chicken. Then Tuesday will be our Lloyd's. It's a huge rack of pork ribs, and they're delicious. We buy them at our BJ's. Wednesdays is always our Italian night. And then Thursday, I'm going to take out some chicken, because I have a ton of extra chicken that I need to use up to make room in my freezer. And then pizza on Fridays. And then beef night on Saturday. This will bring us to the 24th of April. And the 25th, we're going to do some fried chicken. Monday I can do some homemade chicken nuggets. And then Tuesday we'll do the pork chops. We just got a big pack from our BJ's. And I split them into individual meals in our Ziploc bags. Again with the spaghetti on Wednesday. And then that Thursday I'll do some homemade hamburger helper. And then our beef night on that Saturday. I have planned until the 30th of April. Today was takeout. Tomorrow's going to be our steaks because it was raining for a good portion of the day, spotty showers. And then we're going to do a ham and tater tot casserole tomorrow. 
I'm going to do meatloaf Tuesday and reserve half of the ground beef for spaghetti and meatballs on Wednesday. And then I'm going to do some kind of a taco on that Thursday. Pizza on Friday. And some kind of beef like a stew or a pot roast or some kind of steaks on that following Saturday, which is the 24th. And then we can do the fried chicken that third Sunday. Homemade chicken nuggets pork chops, spaghetti, and again, the pork chops, then the spaghetti, homemade hamburger helper, pizza, and a, some type of a beef dinner, weather permitting, it'll be a steak night every Saturday night, as long as it's not too cold or raining, because that's what we do on Saturdays in my household, and we like our pizzas on Fridays, and our Italian night on Wednesdays, these are our theme nights, Italian night, pizza night, steakhouse night and then Sundays we always do some kind of whole chicken or some kind of entire thing of like a pot roast or a brisket or a ham and I have a ham for Mother's Day so we'll probably be doing that on Mother's Day. I have another ham in my refrigerator with a long shelf life and I'll be doing another big pot of split ham and pea soup. This ham is awesome when you get the big whole spiral hams can do so much with all the ham and the leftovers. It's a great way to feed your family with large portions and break them up for individual meals for later on. Now let's see. I just did some bulk shopping and I'm not going to need anything except for maybe some stewing beef. I know I have a pot roast. I don't need any sauces. We just stocked up on that. I may need the packet. As of yet, I don't need potatoes, but I probably will need potatoes later on. I have panko to make the homemade chicken nuggets. I got everything I need for the homemade hamburger helpers, but I'm going to put down bell peppers because I may switch that to stuffed peppers. Sometimes we like to switch things around. I usually have like a backup plan. I have all my pizzas in the freezer already. Taco shells. And I may switch one of those nights to use leftover chicken to make the chicken tacos. Got everything I need for the chicken soup. I got homemade broth in the freezer. I don't have much of a shopping list, but when you're doing your menu planning and you know this things are low, write down what you need and then you can transfer all this to your phone in case you lose your list. And that way you have a hard copy of everything that you need. I hope that the way we menu plan will be able to help you. I have my shopping list here, and it's not a very big shopping list at the moment, but it will grow as time goes along. And I have all my ideas down until the 30th of the month for all our dinners. So I'm pretty excited about this, and I have a good portion of what I need because I buy bulk and I plan ahead, and that saves you money by not having to go to the store constantly. And I love the menu board and then having this magnetic list with a calendar on it so I can plan accordingly and just know everything that I have. And I also keep a master's list of what's in my freezer and in my freezer in the kitchen and everything on my pantry shelves. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope this really will help you. So give this video a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe word, tap on that bell, and let me help you meal plan and get organized.